Hey everybody, it's first Man of Time 3001 again, and we are inside the Deku Tree. This is part 2 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, we are just going to get some nuts, your Deku nuts. These are used to stun the enemy, they can be kind of useful every now and then. Okay, what do you want to do? Well, whatever it is, it's probably not interesting. Anyway, you need to get a heart here, come on. Alright, got one. What? Fine, we'll look down below. There's not nothing much. Alright, let's climb this wall. Alright, so we're going to get the map over here. Come on, Link. Can you open that any faster? Please. Alright, we got the map. I won't bore you with the explanation of the map, so I'll just skip through it. There. Okay, Navi is kind of annoying in this dungeon. Because she will stop you from time to time to tell you actions that you can do with the A button. Which in a way it's good to let us know, but I just don't like that. I mean, well, maybe it's because I played through this game so much that uh, I don't... I wish I could skip through all that, but uh, if you're playing for the first time, then I think it's a good thing. Okay, this guy gave me a really good tip. I am feeling bold. In fact, I'm, I'm feeling bold right now. Okay. Now, normally with the dungeon we're with the I'm, I'm sorry with the item that we are about to get, uh, we can get out of this room. But we normally would step on the platform and let it drop. Okay, we have the slingshot. But I prefer not to drop the platform because that's just wasting a seed. A Deku seed. So I always drop down, climb back up, get the slingshot and then go back. Like this. Alright, now that we have the slingshot, it's time to go get the compass. But before we go, we'll just equip our items right now. Okay. Nuts, sticks, and slingshot. Target locked. Okay, aim and fire. Nice. I have to say, I'm proud of my aim. Though sometimes, well, it's not as good as I wish it would, it would be. But other than that, I'm really proud of my on my aim. Okay, I think I should have gone the other way here. Yeah, I should have gone the other way. Just made a longer trip. Now, to open this door back, we have to light that torch over here. Okay, now we can leave, but not before we get the compass. Okay, so here we have the compass. This will tell us which room did we come from, and... Uh, it will tell us the location of treasure, of treasures uh, inside a dungeon. Okay, so if you can see right there, uh, Link is practically pointing at a treasure chest. Now, something I've noticed about the Deku sticks. I mean, he has Coltrola, I mean the spider, with that instead of the sword. He actually does more damage, which I think is a lot. Anyway, now we're going to get something that 
will be helpful throughout the game. It uses a gold scroll tool that there's uh, a lot of these in dungeons and outside and on the field. Uh, most of them come out at night if you're out if you're out on the field. That is. Okay, so we're just going to kill this spider right here. Take that bitch. Okay, now leap of faith. Good thing there was water down there. Stun. I thought I could kill it right there. That's strange. Anyway, aim. Fire. Now we have another skull toilet right over there. Okay, now let's get our skull toilet tokens. Alright, so far we have two. Drop down. And let's claim the third one. Now, I have to tell you, there is a fourth Skull Tolo token here, but unfortunately we can't get that until we pass dungeon number three. Which I think is... Well, it doesn't really make sense to put a Skull Tolo in a dungeon if you, if you can't reach it. Like right now. I mean, having... We know that there's a Skull Tolo in here, and yet we can't reach it because we don't have items that we have to get on on the f but we don't have items that we need to have until the third dungeon. Ah, I'm sorry guys, I sometimes I sometimes get stuck like this. I actually am. I actually do think you're a trigger. Okay, now we have to dive here. And Navi tells us how to do it. Okay, here we have a switch in the middle left of this room. So we dive and we push it. Now we hurry back and hop onto the platform while dodging the, the spikes. I think you can dodge by, uh, even standing, but I prefer to, to crouch with the shield just to, just to be safe. These are the Deku seats, it's the ammo that we use for the slingshot. And now Navi tells us how to push and pull blocks. that again now we just have to let these two torches and be on our way one two okay we need the ammo so we'll take that remember that skull to light told you about that we can't get it's right to the left of, of that spider web. You see right there in front of us? It's right there, but we can't get it. Let's take another step just to be safe. Alright, now go around the room, and right there you burn this cobweb. Or spider web. I don't know what, what you would call it in this case. I think cobwebs are the ones that are on the corners of the, of the ceiling. Uh, now we push this block onto the water and then we will bring a lit deku stick and burn through that web on the floor right there. Leap of, well not a leap of faith, it's just a fall. Yeah. 
Okay, this is for the tip that last deck was called Gabriel's. The one I just did was number two, this one's number three, and this one is number one. Missed him, but he will eventually come back. There. Yeah, well, a little friend of yours ratted you out. What an idiot, he's telling us how to beat the boss. Here we are at the boss room, and this is by far the easiest boss you could possibly find in this game. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. That actually kind of grossed me out the first time I saw it. Parasitic Armored Arachnid Goma. Okay, this guy is nice. Just shoot him when the red is on the his eye is red. And you practically got him. Okay. Once you hit him he'll go back like like this to the ceiling, hoping to lay eggs. But he'll be showing a weak point right there. There. God damn it, I can't believe I missed three times. Even locked on. So we have defeated Goma and broken the curse on the Deku Tree. Now collect the heart container that will come out. Alright, there is. We get one more heart in our heart gauge. And we are out of here. Alright, that's it for part 2. I'll see you all on part 3. See ya.